so that was one part uh, and what else do I have so you know your try and catch should be inside your while loop and of course uh, while closing I want you know my 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 uh, my serial port to be closed yeah the way you do it is while you know in the form closing handler you really want to check if by mistake uh, if your serial port is open yeah you want it to be disposed right so that's one thing and it's a pretty pretty small application yeah that 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 will show you seven channel values of this you know channels here and of course i mean if i run it yeah you see that i mean <clears throat> there's there is a there's this error message and no number no numbers are being displayed here reason is that of course i mean i'm not connected to plc now i don't even have the serial port and that's what my you know that's where this exception is caught here the second thing i want to talk about is is uh, some kind of a software which will allow you to see your uh, serial port transaction i mean this is one uh, application i have used uh, this is free serial port monitor and uh, the way it works is like I don't think I have got the device now if I had one I would have uh, okay I would have plugged in uh, the way it works is that you 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 want to uh, connect it to uh, the serial ports one of the serial ports you have and then it will show you all the transactions yeah you know I don't really have a serial port here uh, looks like my blue some of my Bluetooth devices is detect, detected a serial port and 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 up here <clears throat> I always prefer to you know is it to be in uh, in in request and uh, request view mode the reason I wanted it to be in this mode is that this really helps you to yeah see I mean it's stuck yeah yeah I know that it's not a valid serial, valid serial port and the reason you want it to be in that mode is that uh, it allows you to see your uh, queries and response very clearly once I really connect to the hardware to the PLC hardware you'll get to see that yeah so just close it for a minute and uh, then uh, there is another piece of uh, application I use quite often and that is that is that is that is my uh, yeah Modbus tester and the way this is actually the Modbus drivers itself okay <clears throat> so while you're writing you may be you know committing all sorts of mistakes yeah so <clears throat> it's a free program create program I would say create one of the one among the best codes I have seen and looks like it's just one guy's work and and you want to come up here in the modbus setting I am doing RTU uh, you could also do TCP but TCP doesn't seem to be supported by now RTU is that pretty functional and tested I am on com port and these are the <coughs> serial port settings and, and device address is, is the address of the PLC and, and uh, normally PLC would be set to 1 if it is not on a RS485 daisy chain network if it is on a network then you want to be setting it to the actual value which is there on the PLC currently analog input so we'll be reading analog input and uh, starting address starting address has to be has to be has to be from uh, has to be from here and uh, the way it works is that uh, since it's a read analog input so 3 is already known to the driver right so it will only ask for 8305 you, re you don't really need to enter uh, this value here 3 here so you just paste it here so it will it, try to <coughs> read all those values length how many uh, analog inputs do I want to read I mean okay for me it's 8 I want to be reading 8 scan time 
thousand milliseconds that's one second that's fine and how <coughs> you want this data to be <coughs> converted once they are you know obtained uh, usually uh, for coils and all you want binary you can also have hex because for testing purposes uh, decimal is also good long end float float i have used a lot long end so for the moment uh, for our purpose testing purpose it will be decimal okay so this is the settings you know which will which are valid for our application and that's it yeah i mean uh, now we've got all the tools and everything else <clears throat> and the drivers code everything else that we need to talk to an plc device without using any third party software or drivers at all uh, shortly I'll, I'll connect my plc device to it uh, unfortunately uh, the the place where my plc is located right now i can't really it's such a noisy in environment i can't really go with my mic and, and talk there otherwise it's going to be a mess so i'll just be recording a video me testing it against the real hardware uh, you can really see my setup in in uh, in some of my hardware i mean the hardware setup video which should be in the list somewhere so that you know you know what is the set of hardware plc setup i am working against hello uh, that should be it uh, for the moment and uh, yeah okay uh, take care bye bye